Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Faith with Elgin's for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to share with you guys some of the Mother's Day ideas that I have so that you can begin to create personalized things for your mother. I think they're quick, easy, beautiful, elegant, inexpensive things that I think she would definitely appreciate. So with this DIY, I am going to do a wall decor for you. I have teased you a bit with this and so I'm excited to be able to share the full tutorial with you on how to create this wall decor. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will like this video and decide to become a part of our family. We'd love to have you join us. All right, let's jump right in. What you will need for this DIY is some hangers. I went ahead and removed the top of the hanger and basically all I did was just twist the metal, which is the hook part, out of there. It comes out easily. And I hauled these from Walmart, so they are in two different colors. You will need some form of gems. I'm going with these gems that I shared with you before that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can use... Um, the diamond wrap if you prefer, or you can use whatever gems that you want to use. I'm also going to use some of these gems that I got from Michaels. I've shared them with you several times before. They come in two shapes. And so I'm going to incorporate that as well. So you're gonna need your hangers, you're gonna need some sort of gems and diamond wrap you will need some spoons and i'm going with the larger spoons you can use the spoons from the dollar tree if you only have the white ones you can spray paint them silver no worries you'll need a cup of water you will need a paintbrush or the sponge brush if you prefer and i'm going to go with a mixture of silver glitter i've got the large one in there i have a little bit of white i have a about a tablespoon of gold and then the rest is all silver you will need your Mod Podge, your glue gun, glue sticks, definitely need your mirror, and this is from the Dollar Tree. Now, something I noticed the Dollar Tree is doing, all their mirrors are now in a smaller form. So this is a smaller form to the larger ones that they used to carry. You will need the Dollar Tree foam board because I went ahead and cut out the size of this mirror. Your razor for cutting out your foam board, you need scissors to trim up, the, is make sure you line them up together. And you're gonna go ahead and do that. I forgot to mention you will need two packs of them. So go ahead and get two packs of your wooden hangers. And then if you want to use wood glue, you're perfectly fine. If not, you can use your E6000 E6, glue or your Gorilla Glue Sticks. I'm going with my Gorilla Glue Sticks. I'm gonna lay my glue down. Then I'm going to come back and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so once you have glued it on one side, you want to make sure that you flip it over and add more glue to the inside as well as the outside for extra support. Now, I also want to say, um, when you're getting ready to glue your hangers, make sure they're going in the right direction. Both hangers are going in the same direction, I should say. And once that's laying down and drying, I decided I have this other mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree as well. And I originally wanted to use the round black one, but I decided I want to go with this one. And what I will have to do is add some of the silver glitter to it. I think it will be perfectly fine because it does have some gold in here as well. So we're gonna go with this mirror instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the hangers and then we'll come back and start to guys so this is how it turned out it's pretty sturdy i love the way that that feels so and this is just glue that i went ahead and add so what i'm considering is spray painting the wood gold because of my mirror being gold i went ahead and put some paper towel over the top 
and I'm going to add silver to it to see the silver glitter to see how well it goes together. I believe it should be perfect, but we will see. I'm going to go ahead, Mod Podge it with the silver, and then I'll determine if I want to go ahead and go spray ahead paint. And add the glitter, and I wanted to bring you in to see what it's going to look like once I've got. And that's what it looks like. I love that. I think that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that because I think having a bit of the gold seeping through is fabulous. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the glitter to this and we can move to our next step. So guys, I wanted to test to see if I could get away with not painting. And I think I can, I think it looks great without painting. So let's go ahead and add some more. And this is how the spoons turned out. Love that. So guys, I got all my glitter done. And this is how it turned out. I love the way that it looks. Very nice, very glam. So this is going to be a glam wall decor, beautiful mirror wall decor. So I also wanted to mention that even though this mirror will not look similar to the ones on um, Pinterest, I did come up with this idea from uh, Pinterest where they are using hangers to make tables and also wall decor. So I was inspired by a wall decor, but I'm creating it into a mirror. So guys, now I want to go ahead and start to lay my pattern out and add a generous amount of glue down and start to add my hangers. So I'm going to lay my glue down. I'm going to lay my hanger down. I also want to share with you that the back side of my hanger does not have any glitter. Now, I must tell you, I went ahead and add a few extra spoons just to tie the whole thing in. I am going to add some foam because I add my glue and apparently because of the glitter, it did not stick properly. So I want to redo that. I want to add some more glue and I went ahead and cut out a piece of foam board and I believe it should hold perfectly now. So let's try it and see. Okay, so I think that should hold very well. All right, guys, if you like the way it turned out, give me a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time, your support, and your comment. I know I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. 
Would love to hear from you. I will see you tomorrow on my next DIY.